गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुर् देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नमः तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नमः तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नमः ओम श्री गंगाई नाथाय नमः जय श्री गुरुदेव जय श्री दादा गुरुदेव जय श्री गुरुदेव टू ऑल ऑफ यू दोज हु आर वाचिंग दिस सेशन लाइव और रिकॉर्डेड वी आर डूइंग दिस सेशंस अबाउट गुरु सियाक सिद्धि योग मेकिंग पीपल अवेयर अबाउट गुरुदेव श्री रामलाल जी सियाग ही इज कंफर्टर ही इज द सेम कंफर्टर विच जीजस हैज प्रोफेस इन द होली बाइबल दैट द आई विल सेंड अ कंफर्टर आई विल सेंड अ हेल्प फ्रॉम द फादर द कंफर्टर विच विल लिबरेट यू फ्रॉम द बॉन्डिज ऑफ योर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड विल रिमेन विद यू फॉर एवर सो ही इज द सेम कंफर्टर गुरुदेव श्री रामलाल जी सियाग and why he is the comforter why he is being the same comforter which jesus promised to send we are reading since last 49 48 chapters 48 sessions we have done we are trying to explain everything through two books so far first book uh, written by gurudev is uh, uh, religious revolution in the world this book is about gurudev's initiation process about uh, gurudev being a guru and uh, disciples that how disciples get initiated what to do how to do what is siddh yoga and what is the process and everything the content of this book is introduction to siddh yoga how to get initiated into siddh yoga benefits of siddh yoga philosophy of siddh yoga life sketch of guru syag prophecies about guru syag prophecies of holy bible meaning of prophecies and world peace we have done first basic chapter first basic session video about 44 minutes which explains the basic of guru syak siddhyo that sanjeevni mantra is there chanting of the mantra how the how the transformation starts on the, in the initial steps and everything so that video you will find in the description link the last link is the video link which is the basic video of guru syak siddhyo you can watch that video after that video the next 11 sessions in the same series you will find we are reading this book and we are also explaining this book few of the content which i feel i have gone through and uh, i have come across the transformation or the reality about those words i have given my inputs also regarding some points uh, which are mentioned in this book second book which we have started is prophecies from the holy bible these two books are written by gurudev shri ramlal ji syak and uh, <clears throat> this book is mainly important uh, mainly important because it defines the many prophecies made by uh, indian scholars by the indian scholars and uh, by, by the foreigner many foreigners astrologers and many other uh, ast- uh, many other saints specifically you know the main uh, uh, prophecies which are more of a important art by the jesus in the holy bible about the comforter what he will do how he will do what will the transformation uh, everything and uh, another is about maharishi arvind he said uh, the krishna has descended the kalki avatar we are waiting indian philosophy according to the indian philosophy the 10th incarnation of the vishnu kalki avatar will descend down and rishi arvind uh, explains about the descent of the krishna as adhimansik dev and he has given the date of adhimansik date uh, they of div- divinity descent of the divinity of the krishna on 24th november 1926 which is the date of birth of gurudev shri ramlal ji sia 1st january 1969 is an important date in the history because on that day gurudev uh, attained first siddhi gayatri siddhi nirgun nirakar 1984 gurudev attained the second par second siddhi which is sagun sakar krishna siddhi again by the prophecy of rishi arvindo that uh, the kramik evolution the uh, the evolution process of the kalki avatar will start from 24th november 1926 and will be completed before 1990 and he will be uh, in front of the world around 1993 gurudev ramlal ji sia completing his uh, kramik vikas or the or the um, evolution process to towards the completeness before uh, in the 1984 and came in front of the world in 1990 so since 1990 gurudev started 
providing the initiation to the people into mass gathering and uh, in 2009 july 2009 gurudev sent or uh, left the mantra into the sky that no anybody anywhere in the world will listen this mantra no no matter from which creed caste religion country he comes from if he chant this mantra and sit for the meditation two times on my picture he will be uh, linked to me and i will show him the way to what celebration so he uh, left the mantra into the sky and said nobody can stop it now it is into the sky now for the entire world till the human race will exist on the earth this mantra my, my picture will remain my picture will remain alive as uh, as uh, anybody who has my picture i am in my picture uh, will remain with the disciple so picture has great importance so this book has you know we have read, read so far uh, all of the content just last chapter we are going through the most important chapter 21st chapter about the 21st century and what will the revolution and some basics about the transformation we are talking about since 100 years it is going on since many years it is going on but last 100 years are, have been very important for the human kind so <coughs> more than 100 years actually so this uh, so let's start continue our chapter this book probably today we must complete this book because it is the last chapter 21st chapter it is a big chapter and it is most important chapter as the last session <coughs> it is the biggest chapter of the book uh, hopefully today will complete it <coughs> so let's start without delaying uh, to continue this is about the the name of the chapter is in the 21st century sanatan dharma would become the future world religion as i said coincidentally it is the 20th 21st chapter the last chapter of the book talking about the 21st century and about the sanatan dharma so just recapping the last paragraph there is no no uh, sorry there is no mention of the fact of direct realization and seeing god in the philosophy of christianity similarly no system is prescribed for attaining salvation above all christianity is not based on science and as such it cannot keep pace with the present day scientific developments what fate it would meet with in such a situation can be well imagined of it does not have the means to embrace other religions and is incomplete this is great or very big announcement or very big confrontation actually it is incomplete and specifically on this chapter gurudev has written the complete chapter why christianity is incomplete gurudev has written the entire chapter you can go and uh, read this chapter we have done the session also on it and you can download this book and this book from the link of the drive i have given into the description box let's start today's session as long as the religion teachers from hinduism do not prove to the humanity at the world level the principle of direct realization and seeing god till then people of the world will not accept the vedic religion swami vivekanand was a great visionary and therefore india should be able to fully prove these essentials of this religion before close of the 20th century many of the non hindu foretellers from the western countries have made similar prophecies which not only support swami ji's explanation of hinduism but they tell many other things also details whereof are available in the chapter destruction of da from dasoham is the aim of life this is a complete chapter we have already read all of them have said in one voice that before the close of 20th century a new civilization would emerge throughout the world and that an indian householder coming from a village in a rural area would bring about a revolutionary change in the knowledge of religion the end result of this spiritual revolution brought about by this prophet after the his successful struggle against materialism would be an everlasting one as um, uh, we just start said in in the start of the session the kalki avatar the picture of the gurudev will remain forever for the human race till the human race exists so here is again said that 
the end result of the spiritual revolution brought about by this prophet after his successful struggle against materialism would be an everlasting one several of the ordinary followers of this spiritual person would be able to convert materialism into spiritualism this revolutionary tempest of knowledge arising from the land of india during its course to encompass the entire world would completely destroy atheism from the face of the globe the follower of the great spiritual leader as an organization would exercise great influence throughout the length and the breadth of the world on the strength of their self force india would leave all other far behind in the field of development of sciences generally but india's eminence would rest more on religion and philosophy which the entire world would ultimately adopt india would thus succeed in her mission of spiritual spiritual leadership of the world, whole world there is a deep mystery behind the above prophecies that god had made those prophets who were followers of the christian faith and had all always uh, had always had unwavering belief in the teaching of the holy bible holy bible to make unwavering belief in the teaching of the holy bible to make therefore their position would become clear only when we make an in-depth study of these prophecies the holy soul jesus christ in the gospel according to saint john had made a prophecy but when the comforter is come whom i will send on to you from the father even the spirit of the truth which proceedeth from the father he shall testify of me Christ unlike those who dread death had chosen death of his free will for the purpose of sending this comforter we have details in this regard from saint john nevertheless i tell you the truth it is expedient for you that i go away for if i go not away the comforter will not come on to you but if i depart i will send him on to you and when he is come he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because i go to my father and ye see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world judged from the foregoing quotation we get a clear indication that the comforter would be able to bring about revolutionary changes in the mankind specifically i would like to stop and would like to quote these lines this is a very important quotation these are not the three lines only but it defines the entire transformation of the human human being these three things which jesus said uh, i i am just going to uh, you know repeat it he will reprove reprove the world of sin and the righteousness and the judgment these three things are the complete transformation of the entire human race liberation from these three things and they also uh, he also explained it because uh, of sin because they believe or not me <clears throat> let me put some light uh, on it why i consider this so much important and uh, entire transformation is based on these three points first is of sin why we commit sin because of the darkness he says of sin because they believe not on me so because of the darkness on us we do not realize our own self own own soul jesus is not a body specific body or specific person he is being a holy soul the soul which is everywhere in everyone so jesus said the teachings i want to give you you are not able to bear them you will not understand them because he wanted to tell the teachings of the real soul how to be how to regain the position of the being supreme or the self or the soul so he said you committed a sin because of the darkness you did not recognize me he said 
of sin because they did not believe on me because you are not able to see because of the darkness you committed the sin when the comforter will come he will enlighten you he will he will glow you from the inside and then you will see the darkness and you will be freed from your sin that you will realize the, the one whom we killed was not a person specific but was a pure soul who wanted us to look into our own self to realize our own soul so the darkness will be removed the day you are freed from the uh, darkness that is the uh, the world of uh, 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 opposite of knowledge but is uh, uh, you are not aware of actually your own self the darkness will be removed the sin you have committed uh, you will be uh, get rid of the source from where the sin is been committed so you cannot be freed from the sin but the source from where the sin has been committed you will be freed from the darkness the source of the sin so you will be you will be freed from the darkness from the tamasic gun which is you know the three major gunas of uh, the prakriti is made up of three gunas the tamasic gun the rasic and the satvik gun so you will be freed from the darkness you will freed from the tamasic gunas he will come and liberate you from this guna because of that guna you committed that sin of not realizing me or did not let me to help you to realize your own self so he will remove the darkness the source of the sin and of the righteousness then he says of the righteousness because i go to my father and ye see me no more righteousness jesus says i go to my father and you see me no more he says uh, the very important thing here that he says ki he, he says you are looking at me as a body he said when i'll go to my father i'll send the comforter he will directly come from the father he will directly come from the father on the same time he said i'll go to my father and i'll send him from the father so the bo jesus is going to father and the comforter is coming from the father so the one who is going and one who is coming is the same he says the one who will come will not look like me you will not see me as uh, as the pure soul he will look different definitely so once i go you will not see me coming back he'll come he'll look different he will be different but he'll come from the father he will talk what i am talking he will Uh, tell you the things prove the things which i said because he'll take from my things to prove it to you he will say he will um, he will justify me he will uh, witness me he will prove me and whatever he will take from my prophecies and will prove that and and because what what is of father is of mine so i said he'll said he will prove me so he jesus is saying that there is no difference between the real soul the father and me there is no difference between me and the father and the comforter who will come there will be no difference between me and the father so when he will come he will be me only he will be the light of me my light only and this thing again he proved to his disciples when he take his uh, three disciples to the mountain and showed them the future past and future he showed the um, uh, three different avatars and the lighted the one the jesus was in the light that the light which cannot be seen uh, with a simple whiteness he, he was transformed into the divine light and he was saying i was one i was uh, who i was in the past and same jesus i am into the uh, present and eli in the future he 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 showed that the, uh, the the soul the pure soul the true soul is the same so i just change the body so you, you when i go with this my my body will go you will not see me but he'll come from the father so soul will be the same so he will be awakening the righteousness in you means he will be uh, giving you the sat uh, guna uh, to live with that you you know the reality of the soul that 
there is non duality and non duality is the basic philosophy of a vedic religion the indian vedic philosophy is entirely based on the non duality that that pure soul is one atma is only one the different people look because of their uh, chit their different kind of avaran we say it in hindi and the third thing he said <coughs> of the judgment of the judgment because the prince of the world because of this because the prince of this world is just the judgment means uh, again it is the uh, it is been talking about the non duality the judgment why we judge people if there are two people dancing in front of you or singing in front of you you judge you you sung best and you were little bit lower on the side or we judge people when we see the competition so um, he said ki when he'll come he will free you from the judgment means you will not see two you will not see the jesus different the musa different the elia different the comforter different you will not see the difference you will not judge that our religion is best christianity is best we following the jesus we are converting people into christianity or the muslim is converting people into the muslimism so he will liberate you from your judgments that we are the best he will give you the one directional unidirectional thought or the truth that the atma is one it's not about the body it's not about the outer religion we live with but it is the inner sanatan dharma religion sanatan dharma is not the religion of the outside outside outsider customs or wearing of clothes or some particular attire or anything it is about the human body it's about the human behavior it's about how he realizes the true self of being an atma so he will be free you from the duality he will introduce you the non duality the sarva khalvidam brahm all is an atman so these three main transformation is the basic uh, basic uh, rule of the transformation which jesus said when he'll come he will liberate you from the judgment means non uh, he will introduce you into the uh, non duality uh, free you from the duality uh, i i if i mistakenly said duality and duality uh, what i mean to say he will remove you from the duality and introduce you into the non duality free of judgment free of the uh, sin he will he will make you free from the sin that means he will light you up your soul will be lighted up so the darkness by which we commit the sin you will be liberated from the darkness so you realize what sin comes from the sin comes from which uh, darkness and of course uh, the one righteousness is the sat of uh, that means how to live with the reality and the truth so that you can liberate finally through this body so these th- these lines have great importance i have done uh, when i was reading hindi chapter specifically from this book uh, this thing i understood while reading this book obviously with the guru's grace when you sit for his uh, when you talk about your guru then guru himself speaks because a student a, a disciple doesn't have that knowledge to define his guru because guru is unlimited and disciple is <laughs> disciple being just a mic he just sit and guru speaks through his disciples i i still remember in, even in english when we were uh, reading the chapter of uh, this chapter we have given these three things very important uh, the chapter was mm, let me call it Uh, I don't know where it is because ha uh, huh, is christianity incomplete seventh chapter i guess uh, this is chapter so this chapter is have very much importance it is not to hurt anybody uh, particularly the brothers and sisters from the christianity it's about the realization of uh, the shortness all right let's move further but this was very important okay from the foregoing quotation we get a clear indication that comforter would be able to bring about revolutionary changes in the mankind so also the fact that jesus had manifested 
himself not for Jews only, but for the whole of the humanity, stands proved by his declaration that the Comforter, on his appearance, would reprove the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. Of judgment, because the Prince of the world would be just. Would have been just. Would the Prince of the world is just. The knowledge of the people of that era was imperfect. Whenever the Comforter, about whom Jesus Christ had made a prophecy, reveals himself, he then by his guidance would lead the world from the total darkness to light, from ignorance to knowledge. Yeah, ignorance word was, I was not <laughs> recalling the word ignorance, the opposite of knowledge, ignorance. It has been said in this con uh, contact in St. John, I have yet I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall shew it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine, therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall shew it unto you. This is what we just talked about. Jesus Christ's above prophecy makes it abundantly clear that the Comforter would have the capability of uh, enabling the people to direct, realize, and see the indefinite past and the future. Jesus' declaration, he will shew you things to come and that he shall take of mine and shall shew it on to you also support the views expressed in the explanation of prophecy similarly prophecy similarly Christ saying Christ saying all things that are that the father hath are mine means that the comforter would have a direct link with the God and thus he would be in the direct commune communing communion with him since God is omniscient, therefore he dwells in the past, the future and the present. He is establishing a contact with him through yoga. It is possible that the indefinite past and the future can be directly realized and seen. Nowhere do we find it mentioned in the theology of Christianity that it is possible to direct realize and see God. Whereas Vedas on the other hand specifically mention that the Lord is to be seen. He has to be realized then only will the attainment of moksha, the complete liberation, become possible. Jesus' prophecies according to the uh, Gospel of St. John clearly indicate that the Comforter would come from a religion based on Vedas because Vedic Dharma is the inventor of theism. Many hints have been dropped in several places in the Holy Bible about the direction from which the Comforter would come. We have it from the Holy Bible, the Gospel according to the Saint Matthew. For as the lightning cometh cometh out of the east and shineth even on to west, so shall also the coming of the Son of the Man, Son of Man be. Similarly, in the revelation of Saint John, it has been said, I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of living God, and he cried with a loud voice, to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our uh, God in their foreheads. In the Holy Bible, we have it said by Job, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people and a strong, there hath not been never the like, neither shall be any more after it. Even to the ears of many generations, the earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and stars shall withdraw their shining. These are the these prophecies are def definitely indicates towards the natural calamities that there must be rain for the continuous many days so the sun will not be shining you cannot see the sun because the raining is going on for many many days and obviously if sun is not there then moon will not shine the stars will not be visible so it 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 actually indicates that there will be natural calamity like there will be earthquake there will be earthquake 
and because because of that the tsunami will be there and uh, continuous raining uh, can be there once more we have it said in the revelation uh, revelation of saint john and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river euphrates and water thereof set dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared <coughs> so this is again you know uh, kind of uh, uh, prophecy if the river water is dried up that means where the water will go away how the water will be dried up the water can be only dried up because if there is too much of heat in that particular region too much of heat will dry up all the water and will you know uh, will go definitely the water dry up is going into the sky being into the cloud and if the entire river will be dried up then that means before the continuous rain there will be the great hotness the weather will become very hot that means sun will be very cruel become very cruel and the days will be very hot some summer will be everywhere the summer will be very difficult to bear in those days so it will prepare the water in the sky for the rain for the many days <clears throat> so okay jesus christ could make no prophecy in his lifetime about the exact time of revealing of the comforter he merely kept saying that only the father the god knows of the time after his cruc crucifixion the holy ghost of jesus kept wandering in th in this mortal world for 40 days and spoke to his disciple of the of the things pertaining to the kingdom of god and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from jerusalem okay it's almost almost time but we have still the chapter <laughs> lot of chapter is left so we stop here okay uh, we stop at uh, the prophecies of gloomy days <coughs> darkness and gloomy days we will start tomorrow okay because there is no point you know stretching it up when people you know feel it difficult to watch the session people don't have much time to see long sessions actually it's pity half an hour is too much and it's not half an hour they say it's about your english which is much poorer <laughs> to bear <laughs> than of your session then of the book book is good but the english is unbearable yes i know that what i can do i am learning i am learning learning okay uh, let's listen to the gurudev's sanjeevni mantra now this particular video of gurudev english video one and only video where english gurudev spoke english Uh, gurudev did know did not know the english he he knew everything but being into the circumstances or you know being into the uh, limit of the body he did not showed up his uh, magics or powers he did not believe in that he believed to make ready his transformation from the inside not the outside so gurudev knew everything he speaks from every every disciple in every language but he kept you know the purushottam we call him purushottam uh, he he kept his body's limit uh, only because for us because if our guru shows so much of tilis magics and everything we always look at him oh he is gurudev his transformation he is god we we create the difference uh, with that avatar gurudev never let it happen gurudev said no difference in you and me if so your body and my body is absolutely simple body what i have achieved is internal my power is internal it's not external for the people to show off so do not fall for the powers attainments or siddhis just fall for the transformation just see the transformation so when we see when when we look at gurudev and we tell people he is kalki avatar he is comforter people say oh how ordinary he is even he did not realize himself from the birth gurudev wanted to show the 
transformation from the simple human being to the highest level so that people those like me are at very ground level Tho- those who are into the ignorance can see and correlate that gurudev started from being even the higher power he never l- showed off his powers to survive he said i did tapasya i did chanting of the naam i was uh, dedicated to my guru so what i did you do the same thing chanting the name do the meditation and be surrender uh, keep surrender full surrender faith to your gurudev to me that's it these three things transformed me these three things will transform you that is why he is his life is uh, uh, teaching for us but people general people with, because of ignorance they see how ordinary if he will be very special we will never be able to correlate try to understand this hmm chalo let's listen to that divine voice gurudev once said this the voice you listening you thinking it is coming from the ordinary body but don't take it lightly when you will do the meditation my voice will do the magic so my voice must be busy you with you so when you listen the mantra listen into the divine voice of gurudev first time so try to make people listen the divine mantra in gurudev's voice but later on the stages when gurudev realize that everywhere it is not possible to take the audio video so sometimes the situation may come that people do not have any medium to show the people to tell the people so gurudev said you speak you speak the mantra just remember me just pray to me i'll connect with you you speak the mantra through you i will speak i will connect to you when you will talk you will connect to me right you will talk about me you are connected to me so you speak i'll speak in you that's what i i do here <laughs> i i feel that thing because i do not know ev- anything but when i sit and talk about him everything starts connecting with each other see like we need to end the session but things are coming from here and there a <laughs> uh, lot of thing lot of thing it is uh, it cannot be explained how this divine works through his disciples so he is very simple so that we can correlate with him but his voice is a divine voice when you do the meditation listen the mantra in his voice do the meditation you will feel it okay gurudev said this it's not me saying it's gurudev said it's it's what gurudev said that my voice is not an ordinary voice it's a divine voice because it is coming from the divine body his body being transformed into the divine okay when we will do the other sessions we will uh, uh, we will talk about lot of other things let let's first complete this book then okay now we will hear the divine mantra let's do that Strengths the immune system 
the kundalini acts as a protective shield of the immune system and wards off the onslaught or recurrence of any disease impact of kundalini awakening the kundalini makes the practitioner perform kriyas that are specific to his needs with this cleaning the practitioner is cured of all kinds of chronic and even terminal diseases such as hiv aids cancer arthritis etc and genetic disorder like hemophilia mental application too are completely cured and stress is completely relieved cling krishna cling 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 so this is the divine mantra of gurudev pyare shri ram lal ji sya as he was speaking you saw my video if you saw my video uh, i was going into the special kind of mudra it is called special mudra it is called the shambhavi mudra and it happens automatically uh, so that is why we said na the guru's voice is divine voice when you listen to him it takes your uh, your chetna your conscious into the deeper level goes into the deeper meditation so that is why his voice is very divine voice so <laughs> doesn't matter how much you keep on saying or speaking about gurudev it is endless he is endless uh, he is endless so words are short uh, not able to define him into the word he, with his grace is uh, unlimited okay let's meet tomorrow uh, we will continue the chapter hope tomorrow we at least complete this chapter and uh, tomorrow around 8:30 or 8:45 around so we'll meet tomorrow at the same time till then to all of you jai shri gurudev jai shri ram